I'm Joel McCower here in Studio C with Lisa Jackson, the Vice President of Sustainability Initiatives at Apple. Uh, Lisa, Apple uh, made a commitment to being 100% renewably powered data centers. That's Why? Right. Why did you make that commitment? I, I guess the question would be why not, right? I mean, I think uh, we're not arguing that climate change is arguably the greatest threat to our planet and our people. Uh, and, you know, I spent certainly 25 years almost in public service working on that issue and others, but there's certainly no reason, uh, as you well know, that the business community can't be a huge part of the answer as well. And so I think when uh, a business like Apple looks at carbon dioxide emissions, we look at the things we can first deal with, and data centers, we're building new data centers, and here's a, an opportunity to build not only efficiently, but to say, listen, we want to be net zero, we want to be renewable energy uh, in the thing we can control, which is our data centers, which help to run things like iTunes and iBooks and apps in the App Store and Siri. Um, and so, uh, as we looked at that, uh, the engineers, I think, looked at a couple of things. First, it's great business sense to have not just renewable, but a source of energy that you know is constant, reliable, and that you know how much it's going to cost. That's a big input for us at Apple. And then we looked at innovation. As I mentioned, one of the fastest ways to get something done, it seems, at Apple is to tell an engineer at Apple it can't, can't be done. Do it, right, yeah. <laughs> Speeds them up. Uh, and so, uh, I think it was a challenge that Apple's staff and uh, engineering and energy group really embraced. Um, and I think we're really, uh, they, I know they're very proud of. So is this just something that Apple says, we want 100% renewable power and it happens? How hard is it to do this? Well, I mean, it, it takes some amount of work. You know, it takes some amount of rolling up the sleeves and dealing in the jurisdictions where we're working. So we have a data center in North Carolina. You work with the local government and the PUC and the utility there. It's Duke, you know. Right. Or, and then you work differently in our, our newest data center that we recently announced in Lyon County, Nevada. So there we're working in partnership with NB Energy. Each situation is different requires lawyers and procurement officers, but mostly it, it requires the will. And, and I'm sure a lot of people say it requires money. I mean, that this has <laughs> got to be expensive, or how much more expensive is this to well, do? Well, you know, we happen to be a company that is that has money that it can invest in the things it believes in. And I think that's the last and missing ingredient, which is absolutely, Apple cares about its customers, it cares about the planet, it puts those two things together, and it seems like with all the other factors I mentioned that making our data centers 100% renewable is, is where we should be. Great. Thanks so much, Lisa. Absolutely. Thanks for having me.